All right, today I'm going to go ahead and change the spark plugs in my 2008 Kia Spectra. It's a fairly simple job. Uh, assume if you're going to change your own spark plugs, you can get the hood open on your own. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my battery. Uh, you don't absolutely have to. It's safer if you do. So I'll just flip that guy open right there and unscrew that nut. And after that, I'm going to take off this cup. So to get the battery out, just a 10 millimeter wrench. Just make a couple of turns. You don't have to undo the thing the entire way. Give a little wiggle and pull them out. Well, maybe I need a couple more wiggles here. A couple more turns. Sometimes I take a screwdriver and pry right in here to loosen them up some. Let's see here. There we go. I just took two hands. Now I'm going to move on. So to, to get to the spark plugs, you need to take off this piece. Again, it's 10 millimeter. So with both of those uh, screws all the way out, and I put them where I'm going to find them, just lift this guy straight up and set him to the side. And now you can see all four wires. Okay, I was just going to pull this one out, and I found that the oil cap was a little bit in my way. Just untwist the oil cap. Then you get good grip on these things, and it just takes two hands and just pull it up. And now you do need to keep track where they are, but. It becomes pretty obvious if you've got original equipment because the longest wire is for the plug farthest away. Your plugs are down in there, hiding down in there. So we're going to need to get an extension and the correct spark plug socket. Okay, I went ahead and uh, bought uh, original equipment uh, spark plugs for the car. I could have gotten $2.99 plugs. These were $6.99 each. I mean, really, I'm changing them once every 43,000 miles. It's not that big of a cost. And the car is going to run better. So there are two different sizes of spark plugs. Uh, the nuts. There's a smaller size and a larger size. This is a 5 8 so The 5 8 socket will fit right on there. And a spark plug socket, if yours is still functional, will have a little black gasket in there. And the spark plugs should come pre-gapped. Uh, gone are the days where you need to get a feeler gauge in there or a spark plug gap tool and set the gap yourself. You can check it, it's always a good idea, but it should be gapped already. All right, so I've got an extension, I've got my spark plug socket there and my wrench. And I do keep all of my things together in a spot. Sometimes it's a good idea to get a little box out if you're going to be spread out. Um, and on gapping them, if you drop one of your spark plugs, you definitely want to check the gap then because you could have changed it. So I'm going to release this guy here. It should turn fairly easily. Oh, I'm going to not I'm going to set the camera down because I had to give it a little butt with uh, the palm of my hand. Yeah, that's all it took. Though. You shouldn't need to put any extra torque or anything on. Just spin him until he's loose, and then it should come up out. I may need to use two hands. Yeah. So I spin him until he's completely free, and the spark plug tool also helps grab that spark plug in addition to keeping you from getting shocked. My plugs actually don't look that bad, but uh, this car, even though it only has 43,000 miles on it, um, I don't drive that often, so these plugs have been in this car for uh, almost five years. It's time. The plugs will be hot if you were just driving your car, so take a little rag, pull it out of there, and set it down aside, and you're ready to go into your next three. Keep your wires All right. Not only are my wires different lengths, but they actually have a number on them, so I know exactly where they go. Now, if you do not have different length wires, you don't, you're not sure you're going to put them back in, do not take out two at a time. Take out one, put the new plug in. Take out the second one, put the new plug in. Don't try to do all four at one time. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, remove these three. So pulling my last one, I realized, I haven't shown you, I actually take the wrench off to make my last few turns and just do it by hand. I can feel when the plug is loose then. I just pull them on up. Alright, I take a new plug. And I stick them into my socket. Right side up, silly. And uh, then I'm going to lower my socket down there again. My hand first, I'm just going to go ahead and this, the socket itself grabs a hold of it. And I'm going to twist in my hand until it gets snug. And then once it's snug, and, and it's a good idea to do it by hand because you're going to not cross-thread anything. And if you cross-thread a spark plug in there, you're not saving yourself money. You're costing yourself a whole lot of money. Then I'm going to put this guy in there, flip him, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Now, I do not need to really crush this thing. 
So I've just made an eighth of a turn and it feels snug already. Uh, all I have to do is crush the gasket that the spark plug has on him. Um, and that is just this little gasket here. It just has to be crushed in there. So about a quarter of a turn is all you need past where it's snug. So I'll set this down so I can get a good... Um, so I went about another half turn around. You see where the wrench was and where it is now. That's about all it was. And it's snug. I'm not going to force it. You don't need a strong one. Just pull your wrench out of there. It came out without his socket. You can kind of wiggle around. Sometimes this happens. And you got to make sure he holds on to the socket, but not the spark plug. There he goes. And set him down. And grab your first spark plug wire. You would be very careful to keep these holes clean, too. You don't want to drop any foreign objects down in there because you're going to cause your engine's problems. You see how I just pop that down? Pops right in there. That's all you need to do. So that's the second one back in. And, you know, he didn't want to come back out of his... The, the socket didn't want to come back off again. Um, yeah, I just kind of give a little bit of side torque to pull it out. That kind of holds on to that socket. <laughs> this uh, spark plug absolutely would not release my um, socket. So what I wound up doing was just flipping it and just touching it the other direction, and that allowed it to release. So it comes out now. Some of uh, your cars won't use this piece. Uh, if you took your old spark plugs out and it doesn't have that on it, this just unscrews off the top. This just is the way that your wires connect. Some of them connect straight onto the threaded piece, some of them connect onto this. All right, as you take your spark plugs out of the car, look at each one and make sure that they're white and there's no bad stuff on them. This one here is, yeah, he's running a little hotter than the others. Um, so keep them in order, know which ones uh, run hot, which ones yeah, are, are getting oil on them. Go check a service menu to, to tell you what it means, what color your spark plugs are. Check all your wires, make sure they're all in good order. Press them back down into the channel grooves if you've got them. It keeps it all nice and neat and looking good. You can quick get them in his little spot up here. Let's see. There it goes. Yeah, he doesn't want to reach over there. All right, and then um, check the condition of all of these. And this one in mine bent up a little bit, and uh, it's not going to affect him, and I'm not going to go buy another one. So it's going to fit in there tight anyway, and he's going to suck right up into there. And then I'm going to go and clean this off before I put the cap. I put the cap back on the oil before uh, I took some compressed air and blew it out with that. And, you know, if you don't have compressed air, you know, just wipe it down with a rag. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, cover. And I'm going to stick him back on out. Wipe that dust off before you know, I gave everything a good wipe down and blew it up with pressed air and cleaned this guy up here. Yeah, just hit him with some armor all too. Um, and, you know, something like this, people may think, oh, I don't even need that piece. It's just decorative. Well, yeah, it's not. I mean, the things in your car are designed to keep your fingers safe. They're designed to keep your engine cool. They're designed to keep dust in the wrong place from getting there. So put it back on. Make sure it's put on with the correct bolt that you took out. And if you put them in a nice organized way, you've got them right there in your hands. And just put those in finger tight first and then take your little wrench and snug them up. Okay. I gave, I tightened that up and I gave the whole underside a nice little wipe down. All that's left to do now is put the battery back on. Yeah, just going to press him down in there. Give a little wiggle. I'm going to tighten that up. And I'll use my 10 millimeter wrench to crank him down into there. Just make sure that he's not going to, there's no reason to over crank any of the nuts here. Just, just put them on with the bolts and make sure you put away all your tools just right because if you put them away right, then the next time you want to use them, you will have them handy. One, one last safety thing um, when you're doing something, yes, unhook the battery, but always wear safety glasses. It's the times when you think there's no way something's going to hit me in the eyes, that something hits you in the eyes. Thanks for uh, watching. Bye.